Jack Thormalen. Uh, my highest rank was EM3 SS. I was uh, in college, uh, right out of high school. Took 18 hours past eight. So uh, back then the draft was hot and heavy and my best friend got drafted and I said, hmm, I better do something about this. So I decided to uh, join the Navy and also a friend, my, one of my friends was thinking about it too. So we went in under the Buddy Program in September 1966 and went to boot camp. Well, luckily, uh, I had parents that were uh, very rigid, strict, so my transition uh, was very easy. My buddy, however, that went in wasn't so easy, so uh, he had uh, a road to climb. But uh, for me, uh, it turned out to be not much of a transition because I, uh, I was able to, quote, take orders and, you know, do what I'm supposed to do. Um, we went through boot camp, came out of boot camp. Uh, my first set of orders was to uh, attack transport, uh, USS Lenaway, APA 195. Uh, it had just gotten back from Vietnam. Lord, it was big. <laughs> That thing was uh, two football fields long, at least, and uh, I think it was eight decks high. And I was uh, thrown into the uh, electrical uh, gang and worked for an uh, E-9 chief, who to this day, I say, was the smartest man I've ever met. I can't even remember his name, but I, that's just the way I remember him. I know I was down in the engine room a lot, uh, but one of the things that stands out in my mind, uh, as an electrician, especially in E2, uh, they taught me how to run a projector and show movies at night. So that was one of my main jobs. And I've still got my little certificate of being a qualified projectionist, which is kind of funny these days. But, uh, uh, and the, uh, the other thing that I remember is the uh, uh, mess hall was huge because when you're, you got all those uh, Marines or Army or whoever they're transporting, plus the crew eating, uh, there was a lot of men on board. And uh, uh, I worked in the gang probably two, three weeks, and the ship was sent to Mare Island to be decommissioned. And I went to mess cooking on, on the base. And there were several cooks that I became friends with, and one of them especially, I can't recall his name, he was an expert ice sculptor. And he would make these sculptures to put out in the mess uh, mess hall every day and they would be anywhere from two feet to six feet tall and he was an artist. After it was decommissioned uh, they sent me to electrician day school. Uh, well, uh, my lesson really started back when I was in college when I realized uh, that you got to study and uh, uh, of course, I didn't realize that until the end of the semester when I only passed eight hours out of 18. So while I was in A school, I uh, buckled down and, and did the work and it paid off. Oh, uh, uh, learn how to uh, fix uh, uh, coils and motor generators, uh, 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 batteries, what they were made for and how and all that, that kind of thing. Uh, of course, in A school, they weren't teaching us about the batteries like we had in the sub, uh, because those are special and uh, totally different than what they were even talking about in A school. But it was basics. Went through that, 
and uh, uh, after that, uh, sometime during that period, probably right at the end, uh, they were looking for volunteers for submarines, so I stuck my hand up and went to sub school. Uh, 